All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast talking Auburn football. Go ahead and like the video. Also, if you feel compelled to leave a cash app, dollar sign, K-E-N-N-A-R-D, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, on your cash app. Go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. So we're going to keep talking about this whole Auburn versus Georgia thing. The comment section for the video yesterday, when I did the preview and prediction, a lot of uh, not surprising commentary from the subscribers, the Georgia fans that, you know, kind of pop in. I definitely appreciate them coming through and showing some love on the channel. As a matter of fact, my very first subscriber, Andre Ivy says, look, you said that Auburn will only go eight and four. So how do you pick this game? Because this is one of the four, that, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the four that Auburn was projected to lose. And, and, and really, when you look at the odds, you look at the talent differential, it actually kind of sort of makes sense. However, th this, these two teams, especially when they play each other at home, whoever the home team is, typically has uh, the advantage in, in, in a lot of ways. As a matter of fact, you look at the 2019 game, Georgia did get up 21 to nothing. But Bo Nix did find a way to help Auburn weasel their way back into that game and probably had a shot down the stretch. Um, you know, you talk about throwing the ball more fundamentally in that um, that out route to the running back at the time. Damn it, I can't think of his name. He transferred to Michigan State. Uh, mind you, I'm doing this. This is just this is just off the. I'm just shooting from the hip on this one, guys. Uh, but either way, I. You know, looking at all the comments, I do understand Georgia's part. Okay, you shut Clemson down. Clemson, all of this stuff is really, really perceptual, though. Okay, you beat Clemson. A lot of folks didn't think Georgia would beat Clemson. But you beat Clemson. Clemson is not proven to be the ACC power that they have once been, which is kind of surprising at this point. Then you go steamroll UAB, Auburn facing Georgia State, who I wouldn't say UAB and Georgia State are on the same level. They are on the same level as far as how the committee views them conference-wise when, when you start talking about college football playoff. But UAB has been at it a little bit longer than Georgia State. So you steamroll Georgia State, you steamroll South Carolina, and then you steamroll Arkansas, which I think is the main premise to this perception that Georgia will blow Auburn out. One, we've been at this for some years, guys. I'm talking about I'm, go I'm going all the way back to. You know, when I was in college at Auburn in the early, late 90s, early 2000s, um, I'm talking about being a, a Auburn fan. I solidified, I, I'll say this, I solidified myself as an Auburn fan uh, post, I, I was all, I always liked Auburn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always liked Auburn. Um, a lot of you guys knew, I actually grew up as a uh, Florida State fan. In the early 2000s. But then I always liked Auburn, though. Whenever Auburn played, I, I always liked them. I always preferred them over Alabama. And I mean, maybe I was a fan, maybe I won, but I, I really liked Florida State at the time. But that thing really amped up in tw 2004. I actually graduated in 2003. From Auburn, it was actually the actually it was the fall of 2002, and then 2003 was my first year 
um, out of college. Auburn, I mean, we did pretty good, but what really solidified my fandom was obviously being an alumnus and my favorite game that I watched that year that really had me believing in this Auburn magic was Auburn versus LSU 2004. I still go back and look at that game now. I think the Georgia fan base, you got to be a little careful on this one because Auburn is really starting to kind of find something. You know, you go in that LSU game, that's just one of those games that, you know, you got you got you got the monkey on your back from the, you know, you hadn't beaten them there in 20 years, and you actually get that win. You get Bo Nix with a little confidence. And now you're starting that belief system, because I guarantee you, I bet you Kirby Smart's not drinking that oil that Georgia fans are drinking right now. Georgia has some holes in what they got going on. It's not like that receiver core is elite. You're hiding behind the front seven on defense. I can't take anything away from the defense. I can't take anything away from the offensive line of Georgia. I can't take anything away from the running backs. And the wide receivers are very serviceable. And I think have the opportunity to really make some things happen, especially if Auburn begins the game the way they have against opposing offenses. But if Auburn can figure out a way to not allow Georgia to manhandle the situation like in 2020, especially, I mean, that was just a straight mauling. Here's where we got to look at. We got to look at this game will not only show progression standpoint as far as Auburn in numerous ways, but I really want to see what the strength and conditioning is looking like. Because Georgia is very physical. They're very violent up front. And they pride themselves on being able to push you around. So we just got to see. We just got to see if that strength and conditioning is what they're saying it is. And we'll see real soon. 2.30 Central Time, 3.30 Eastern Time in Auburn, Alabama. Also, I think a key factor is... I know Bo Nix is playing at home. Bo Nix pl- tends to play pretty good at home. But I think the issue now is you facing a, t- a defense that don't give a damn about where they play at, in my opinion. They don't give a damn where they play. They ain't worried about no crowd. No, they, they, they don't care where they play at. So will Bo Nix be able to handle the he, he you know be, being able to guide this offense with these exotic looks that Georgia likes to show i think one of my favorite entities of Georgia's defense is their tendency to switch their defensive linemen mid cadence hell that just strikes me and i ain't even on the field so we de- definitely got to see how that works but uh This is your Auburn versus Georgia the day before. Nightcap. Go ahead and make sure you have your your wine, your liquor, your hookah, your cigars, or whatever you got to chill out before this Deep South's oldest rivalry. One of my favorite college football games to watch. Probably do a little something before the game. I got a lot going on tomorrow. Um, I won't be able to see my weekends have been kind of tied up. Most weekends I'm either working or this particular weekend is my father's um, Albert Vernon Young. His 70th birthday party tomorrow. So I will be off limits. I'll probably post some stuff in the community. But unfortunately, we're going to have to do some day after kind of stuff with the Georgia game. All right, guys, I'm telling you, I appreciate the cash apps. I appreciate it. K-E-N-N-A-R-D-S-T-E-W-A-R-T at cash app. Also, 
Like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.